I can't begin to tell you how many times we've been asked to do an RCF Evox 12 versus LD Systems Maui 44G2 video and compare them and then tell you what we think. This is one of those moments where you just do the thing. I was lucky enough this past weekend to bring out one of each. I was able to work it into a gig, really listen to both, go through the workflow and learn a lot about both systems. So we're gonna talk about everything. I'm gonna give you my opinion. You gotta wait till the end for that though. But we're gonna do everything right now. What's going on everybody? Justin Schwartz here, founder of the DJ's Guru, coming at you as always from the lovely DJ's Guru studio. And today we're doing a comparison, a direct comparison between the RCF Evox 12 portable column array system and the LD systems Maui 44G2. I feel like Vanna White here. And we're gonna compare the footprint, the size, the features, the sound, everything. Are you ready? But before we dive in deep, make sure you're checking us out at thedjsguru.com. If you have any questions, make sure you reach out to us there or drop your comments down below. We're always happy to help answer any questions that you have. If you're looking to make a purchase, make sure you look in the description. There's a clickable link down there. And of course, always consider subscribing to our page. We're going to continue to come at you with comparison videos just like this to answer questions that you have because we're doing this for the audience that's asking for a video like this. So let's dive back into the comparison. Uh, the first thing to talk about is tell you a little story about you know, how it came to be. We've been asked to do this video. Uh, I don't know if there is another video out there, but obviously our background and our experience in this industry, selling both brands, really loving both brands, makes it a very honest and transparent video. So I'm just here to lay out the facts and let you make the decision as far as what works best for you because when you're buying a sound system, it's really a very personal thing. And the truth is, both of these are incredible sound systems. They're incredible PA systems and you cannot go wrong either way. So it's really more about which system is best for you. Let's dive into the features and the specs first so you can kind of just look at the paper surface level stuff. So. We'll talk about the Evox 12 first. So Evox 12 is a 15 inch woofer in a birchwood box, okay? 1400 watt amplifier powers the top here, which is also made of birchwood. You have eight four inch neodymium full range transducers in here. So you basically have a eight full range speakers in here pushing out sound at different angles to give you a 90 by 30 degree coverage angle, which is different than the column arrays here and most of them out there, or a lot of them out there at least, that have the 120, which we'll dive more into later. But this has a 90 by 30, so it is a bit more traditional in the sound of a point source speaker. One thing about this system to note is that it's fairly compact for the output that you get. It has a max SPL of 130. This top weighs about 35 pounds and very solid, but portable. And one thing that I've learned with it, believe it or not, perfectly fits inside a stick of truss up to about 4.92 feet or bigger. So it's a great space saver if you're if you're in a smaller vehicle. Personally, that's I've done that and, and just a tip for you, let you know that these in the bags fit inside 12 by 12 box truss. So the sub, which has a built-in pull handle and wheels on the bottom, only weighs about 50 pounds and it's a somewhat of a smaller footprint. So portability is definitely big on the e-box system. Those are the specs on that. So moving over here to the LD Maui 44, you have a 1500 watt amplifier, 
They have a max SPL of about 132. So, um, you know, they will tell you three to four degree SPL difference to really hear it. So, although this is too higher, they're pretty comparable as far as what you're going to notice output wise. As far as the way that the components are set up, this also is a 15 inch woofer. It has 12 three and a half inch neodymium full range speakers in here. Okay, and then you also have four one inch high frequency drivers. So it gives you a very unique 120 by 25 degree coverage angle. So it's very wide and then it has tuning in here and wavelength guides that create a projection that allows you to get better coverage than what I've heard of other 120 degree portable column arrays and more dynamic sound, especially with this really, really intense 15 inch sub. Some of the other notable features other than just the sound and the components, and by the way, the sub weighs about 80 pounds, and then the top, uh, the sub is made of birch wood. The top here, which is made of a powder coated aluminum, weighs about 25 pounds. So overall, it's a little bit heavier than this, and we'll go in deeper into each component and the size and weight, but um, that's another thing to keep notice of. But here are some of the advantages and some of the things that the LD systems, Maui 44 G2 has that RCF Evox 12 does not have at the same price point. Um, this has true wireless connectivity. So not only can you connect a wireless Bluetooth device to it to play music, but you can actually pair this wirelessly at HD level sound quality with another unit without having a cable. So simplicity is really, really increased with something like that. Tension integrators or permanent installations, if you can use something like this, just plug it in, right? And then control via Bluetooth device music and then put this into a situation where they're now connected wirelessly. You can have a beautiful looking sound system and, and dynamic sound in a venue of hospitality or nightclub or bar or whatever without having to have a DJ or whatever in situations if that's what you're doing. If you just want background music or a PA or whatever, this could be used in that application as well. So having that true wireless connectivity opens up a wide range of possibilities for not just DJs, but sound companies and anyone else that would use this as a tool. And the Evox 12 does not have anything like that. Uh, another thing to take notice of with the LD systems is that it has a cardioid system if you have two. Cardioid system essentially means that, hey, have you ever been at, a, at an event and they put you in the back against the wall, right? And then you have your, whatever they are, your woofers projecting bass backwards, right? And what good is that doing when everyone's over there? So a cardioid system inherently will help to push the sound forward when utilizing two systems. And actually with the LD Maui 44, it's between an 18 to a 20% increase forward projection when you have them in cardioid mode using two. So that is also another advantage that you have with the Maui 44 and a feature that it has that the Evox 12 does not. So if we're talking about features and specs, and if I'm going to say, which is the winner on paper, LD Systems Maui 44 seems to have more bells and whistles and more for the money. Okay, so I'm gonna to talk to you about my story, about my workflow and kind of what I went through when I used these together at a gig this past Saturday. So my whole purpose was, all right, I'm gonna do an AB comparison literally at the same gig. I'm gonna have one on, I'm gonna have one off. What I did was I worked out something with the owners there. They let me come in an hour early and we did kind of a testing before we opened it up and then I kind of let it fly once it was open. So a couple of things I want to point out and some things to be very aware of first off is uh, the main, main, main difference in aesthetics where I think LD has an advantage and also just simplicity in putting it together is that this is a clicking system. This has a pole mounting system. Now, this is by design, right? So it's not that one is better than the other, they're different and there's advantages to both, but this needs to have a pole system because of the dispersion, which is 90 by 30. 
you can actually tilt these and have them directed in a certain way where this, because of the 120, it doesn't really make any sense to do that. You're just better off going flat and trying to do a 90 degree or a 180 type angle. So the first thing you have to understand, and you'll see this later, but this is a, a pole system. It's M20 threaded here. It screws in like that, right? It then has a power con cable that connects from the back to the column. And you have this pole here, which is adjustable. And it also has these clips here. So the cable hides behind here. You don't see the cable. And then you have the ability to go up any real you know, level that you need, where this is always gonna be at this level, you have more ability to adjust with the Evox 12 system. So that's one thing to be aware of. If you're coming from Electro Voice, Evolve 50, or anything from anything else from LD that has the same type of system like this, this definitely makes a lot of sense. So like Electro Voice Evolve 50 customers that want an Evolve 100, this kind of is it in my opinion. This is a notch up from that and uh, as well as the Evox 12, but this is very similar in its look, its design, and the way that it works. Also the coverage angle and everything. So you won't have a major, um, you know, essentially will be an upgrade, but, and you'll just take out your Evolve 50s and you'll put in the LD system Maui 44. So for that particular customer, I think this does speak very well uh, to you. So let's talk more about the workflow. As I mentioned to you earlier, um, this has built in pull handle with wheels. It's 50 pounds. It only has this smaller portable column array and overall the footprint is smaller. So this is definitely easier to work with. It's more compact, it's more portable. So if size is something that's important to you, if you're working out of a car or a crossover, or you know, I have a, a larger SUV, that's something that's important if you're looking to scale up in sound, but not necessarily too much in size. So this is definitely more portable and it is easier overall to get it into the gig with the pull handle and wheels, if that's the way you do it. When I do my gig, actually, I just throw them on a cart and I pull them in with other stuff on it. But having the built-in wheels has helped out a lot and just moving them around even in the vehicle, it makes it easier. With the Maui 44 G2, I didn't have it, but they have a caster board so you can get wheels for it, which again, because of the fact that this is not designed to be a super portable system. Inherently, a larger sized subwoofer will give you more air right in there. So it's generally gonna give you more low end, which I did really feel that with the LD system. So the design of this is such that it is bigger by design because it's using this design to A, have the cardioid system availability, and B, to create more air, which is going to create more bass. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Although it is bigger, that is why, and it's by design that it's bigger. The footprint of this is definitely larger in every dimension, and it's also heavier. It weighs about 80 pounds versus, again, this is 50. The tops here are lighter weight, but they're taller. So, you know, what I was, literally, I brought this in my Evox 12 bag, and I was only able to fit one. The other one I had to, you know, very carefully put in my vehicle. It's a bigger system, but it eliminates the need for any cabling, any additional pole, and you have a super, super clean look here to where my DJ, who doesn't really always notice the gear, was like, whoa, I really love the way that looks. Is that a new speaker? And I was like, oh, wow, you noticed it. That's funny. I did get a few comments, and I will tell you this. I could not do this on the Evox. Being able to do this for me, I don't know if you guys have, guys and girls have any value in this, but I love to play with the crowd. Uh, we'll use a CO2 gun. And this is like a mount, like, you know, I'm not telling people to stand on your speakers, right? <laughs> yeah. For me, I try to have fun and I thought this was kind of cool. It has a really heavy duty coating on here. So, you know, really it's nuts. Like I wasn't even on there, but it gave me like a, like almost a stage, which I thought was kind of cool. I don't know if anyone else would have ever noticed that, but I was bored uh, as I was doing this review, just listening and everything. At one point I said, I'm gonna go up there and I'm gonna stand, take some video. 
All right, so let's dive in a little deeper to some of the specifics in the components. All right, so let's compare the logistics and the actual full range tops here. I'm holding the top of the Maui 44 G2, which again, this is a clicking system and the top will just click in the other top. It's a two section system, just like that. And now you're all ready to go. This is a different type of a system. It uses a Paracon cable that snakes behind here. You have an M20 threaded pole at the bottom and you have an adjustable pole. These allow you to go like that. Because you have a 90 by 30 coverage angle, you need to be able to do that. With the LD system, because it's 120, you don't. And you really only want to have this at a 180 type degree because that's the way it's going to sound best and give you the most coverage. So that's pretty much the difference as far as the logistics and the way that it's set up. What I noticed when I brought them out uh, the other day, as I said to you earlier, my DJ took notice and said, oh my God, those things are really cool, talking about the LD, and we've always used the Evox. So aesthetically, you know, definitely was a nice thing to hear and, and to just to get that feedback. I think I feel the same way about it. When I see them next to each other, you kind of notice a little bit more. Also keep in mind, this is a used system for many, many, many events. Um, this is brand new, so keep that in mind. But workflow wise, you know, again, it's a little bit smaller, so keep that in mind. But overall, uh, that is the differences as far as the tops go. Again, you have eight four inch neodymium transducers here, and then you have 12 three and a half over here, plus four one inch drivers. So um, that's the way it's kind of spaced out and that's why you have a system like this versus everything being up here. All right, so here are the subs right next to each other and this is something that sometimes can just be a deal breaker on its own. Can I fit it, right? So again, if you're someone that's scaling up from an Evolve 50 or an Evox J8 or an LD Maui 11 or 28, you know, those have smaller woofers. Inherently, the subwoofer box is much smaller. So like literally you could fit it in the back of a car. These are going to be uh, much larger. I don't wanna say much larger, but larger in size to where you're no longer gonna be able to do the car. You're gonna need a bit of a crossover and something probably larger than that, depending on how much stuff you're bringing. So anyway, these are them next to each other. We'll get to the back in a second, but the actual dimensions of the footprint, just so you know. We'll do them first on Evox 12. You have a about 16 inches this way. Your depth goes back 22. And then from top to bottom, you have about 23. And don't forget there's wheels back here too, so that adds like maybe another half an inch. Next, Maui 44. Okay, about 16 inches of width. Your depth from the front here, a little bit less than 25. And then from top to bottom, this is where it is definitely taller, where you can see, obviously, uh, about shade under 25. So definitely bigger here, also 80 pounds, 50 pounds. So you do have uh, a difference here in the sub, and I just wanted to point out that to you. All right, so let's take a look and talk about the back where there are some advantages on both sides. We'll first talk about the LD Maui 44 G2. I have it plugged in because you can, you need it to be plugged in because it has a, a nice digital LCD display here where it gives you the ability to control your low and your top full range separately, which um, Evox does not have. That's kind of cool. You then have your cardioid off and cardioid on system here. As a more robust mixer, you have multiple ins, multiple outs, plus a sub output. And then you have your true link wireless button over here so you can connect this to another one wirelessly, which again is a great feature and all with a power con connection for your power. So ultimately this is something that the Evox does not have at all. And I didn't plug it in because basically all that happens is this light would go on and turn green. So no need, but that's what RCF is all about. They're no fuss and it's all about sound and they put all the money into the sound and less into bells and whistles. One input, one output, XLR, and then you have a quarter inch. 
you have a bass boost here, and then you have input sensitivity, which you'll probably never use unless you're only using this as a PA system for speech. Otherwise, you're never gonna turn that on. Don't do it. It gives you a tremendous increase that you don't need. And that's really the back. The advantages mostly are here until you say, oh wait, wheels, pull handle, all of a sudden it's a suitcase, right? But this is something that is very, very convenient and cool to have integrated. Maui 44 does have a caster board with wheels available, easy to make that purchase and have wheels on it. So don't fuss, you can get wheels for this too. And that's really the difference and that's the scene from the back. All right, everybody, so um, now everybody wants to hear the opinion, right? So here's my opinion, and you might not love it, but honestly, you're not gonna go wrong either way. You get the Evox 12, you get the Maui 44. You can't go wrong either way. I think that if, you know, overall, if you look at it at the same price point, this to me seems like it's the better value, quite honestly. You know, I found that as far as what I like, I found that this sounded a little bit better. But again, that's by design because the coverage pattern, as we talked about, is different. And I did hear, as I moved around the room, I did hear this differently than I heard the Evox. So it all depends on what you're looking for. I'm not doing weddings every day. We're doing a lot of times nightclub type situations where it's a restaurant, moving the tables out, and then they're doing dance parties. So that dynamic sound to me is very important. It, you know, I'm used to the 18 inch sub and the two way type sound where portable column arrays don't really do that. This is a great hedge because you get all the great convenient portable things about the column array, but you also get a coverage angle that is somewhat traditional to the DJ in the sense of the 90 degree. Now, this has so many different uses as a tool. It definitely is a better tool, I, I think, because again, the true wireless connectivity the Bluetooth connection and the uh, ability to use it as a single with a 120 degree coverage really would give you a balanced sound where you could say, you know, with ease, I can go in and do a quick two hour PA thing, plug in a microphone and play sound background with my audio and this thing is gonna work out great. Where you could get sound out of this, but you need adapters and I mean, there's really only one input on the back here. So again, as a tool, this seems to have more bells and whistles. So it really all depends on what's important to you and what you're looking to do after you've really heard about everything that we talked about. So another place where I think this is, it has the advantages is the aesthetics. I mean, it's a simpler, cleaner look. And at the end of the day, although a cable is a better system, any audio person will tell you that, that you would prefer to have a cable. It's much, you know, it's, it's foolproof, right? It's not gonna fail. This looks better. You know, I'm not gonna say it doesn't. Uh, you know, the clicking system is definitely, uh, this is a very high quality one, but overall, the connection of a power con is always going to be better, but it doesn't allow you to have this sleek design. So again, it all depends on what's important to you. Now, both of these are available in white. We have the white Evox 12 available on pre-order. So if you have any questions, you can reach out to us about that. Uh, these are available in white as well. So if you're looking for a white portable column array system, these both have white. To compare it that way, you now have the ability to get either in white. Overall, you know, again, I don't believe you're gonna go wrong either way. And it really comes down to the preferences and the, the boxes that you need checked. So if you really wanna get the nitty gritty of my opinion, definitely reach out to us at thedjsguru.com. Also hook you up with a great deal. If you have any questions, make sure you drop them down below as well. And then of course, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Uh, we always appreciate that. Hey, I mean, this was a great opportunity to do a comparison in real life. I, um, I was happy to do it. I really didn't feel that there was really any major drop off either way. You know, it wasn't like I brought the Maui 44 in next to the Ebox 12 and said, oh yeah, this thing is not even close. Definitely was close. Uh, it definitely was very comparable. And, you know, again, sound quality wise, 
both were crystal clear, both really gave you that nice portable column array sound, balanced even, and um, I don't think you can go wrong either way. So thank you so much for watching this. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed making it. As I always like to say, we'll see you on the flip side. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.